Do the y'all know or not? And now that I'm not pregnant, now I can. She can do a lot, do of, a stuff, lot of stuff. So if I said we get ten thousand, if we get ten thousand comments, we'll come back. It's gonna be. It's gonna be lit, man. You know, we we uh, we in a way better space. YouTube family channels seem to be constantly one-upping themselves when it comes to making terrible videos. And this week, the world was given probably the most disgusting example of this so far. YouTube couple Cameron and Corey recently made a video about how they lost a child through a miscarriage. And while there's nothing wrong with that, especially on a channel that follows the life of your family, this video plays out as anything but two people who are upset about the loss of a child. If anything, it honestly seemed like they saw it as a business opportunity. Now while that might seem kind of harsh, in this 22 minute long video there is hardly any talk about the actual situation. Maybe 4 or 5 minutes total. I'm serious, go watch the video if you don't believe me. What there is however is 10 advertisements throughout the course of this video. No seriously, there's 10. And that's not even counting the ones at the beginning and the end of the video which make it 12 in total. They edited a thumbnail where they posed to look sad and then painted their eyeballs red and added fake tears. Then they start talking about planning a trip to Hawaii and planning a bunch of new pranks, and all of that is only scratching the surface. There's just no emotion throughout the entire thing. They just kind of blow past everything and then they start talking about how many haters they have, and how everyone wants to see them fail apparently. At one point the guy even pulls out his DMs showing him talking to a drama Instagram page about a completely unrelated topic. The entire thing just does not strike you as a couple in mourning. They even have a pinned comment saying that they will remove any negative comments, which to me seems like they're kind of admitting that they know how this video comes off, and are aware that trying to profit off of a situation like this is not normal. Now I'm gonna play some clips to try and show what I mean, and I feel like once you see it you'll start to get a feel for what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna go through the entire video like I usually would, because as I said it's 22 minutes of the same 4 minutes over and over and over again, and I'm not gonna subject anybody to that. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah. That's, that's the actual intro. I feel like, personally, I probably would have taken out my trap beat intro in a video like this, but uh, I guess that's just me. To the problem, because it's not their problem. It's really like, only God knows why it really happened. And, you know, I just, I, I'm sad. Like, when I told Corey I was sad, he was just like, well, this is what happened. So. It's what happens. That just seems like a strange way to talk about something like this. Like, I know everybody experiences loss in different ways, but the way she says, I was sad, like, it just sounds fake. Like, she's just saying it because she feels like she needs to? Like, yeah, I was sad, but, you know, whatever. And she said the doctor, they call her and cancel her appointment because the doctor that had was, a personal yeah. problem. So, now, that's fast forward, she went to the doctor on April the 2nd. And then she got the results back today, and that's when you found out today. Yeah, they did a um, they did an ultrasound today just to confirm like how far I am and stuff, and they just didn't find a heartbeat. Yeah, they uploaded this the day they found out. This was the very first thing that they did when they learned that they just lost their child. They ran and made a YouTube video. I do not care what anybody says, that is not a normal reaction. To get the news about this and then the same day upload a video about it to the internet, formatted for it to make you as much money as it possibly can, that is abnormal behavior. So Y'all see the T-pages on YouTube, they always come with the titles, the clickbait titles, you know what I'm saying, and, they, and people thought we broke up and it was just like, we wouldn't even pay attention to it because like we knew for a fact we were children, so people just talk with like we wasn't stunning. But the YouTube pages, they be so thirsty for drama, it's just like they say anything and I'm gonna prove it to you guys right quick right now, just because so therefore y'all can y'all y'all will see how these pages operate and therefore y'all understand, okay, damn shit really don't really be going on. So the T page that had posts that the video saying that Corey threatened to get karma deported or whatever. Like what the f what does this have to do with this video? Why is this a necessary addition to a video about losing a child? This happens 17 minutes into the video. Nothing more is said about the kid after this point. It just seems like this was stuck in here to spark more comments and more drama. And she just be like, I'm, I'm so tired of it, I'm so sick of that, everything. She's my boy. She's like, hey, I was say I'm not happy there. And I, I just, I was saying that because it's like, how you just look at somebody and say they just sad, like, or they don't look Like right bad. now, of course I'm sad, like, of course I'm not happy right now because Ooh, I wish you, ooh, baby, I put, I put grape juice, the grape juice on the bed right there. We gotta get that out there. Why did I wear the white? Pardon me. Um, what the f***? 
fuck is happening? Does this video look like it's about what it says it's about? Like this obviously I'm sad feels so ingenuine, like it's a joke or something. I don't think that a person who was really upset over something like this would feel the need to keep saying it. Like no one would assume that you weren't sad in a situation like this. So the fact that it keeps getting repeated feels like they think they need to prove it. And then the f***ing grape juice? Like, like what? Did that discussion not have waited or just been cut out of the video? It feels like they forgot what they were recording about halfway through. That's what I, mean. I hope so. <laughs> but, yeah guys. But, yeah guys, so next video hopefully, of course, is definitely gonna be better energy and you know, we just definitely took time for ourselves and just to deal with stuff like this on our own. And once we ready, then that's when we bring it to camera and we talk to you guys about it. But yeah, other than that guys, I think this is it. And we just had to share this with y'all because we started off, you know, sharing the great news of a pregnancy and now it's not so much of a great news anymore. So yeah, uh, see y'all in the next video. And yeah, we love y'all, man. We out of here. And we we gonna think about coming back to YouTube. If you guys think we should come back to YouTube, just spam the comments and just let us know if you guys think y'all want us to come back doing pranks, challenges, vlogs, and all that good stuff, and more videos on the family channel. So let us know in the comments below. We get over if I say we get ten thousand, if we get ten thousand comments, we'll come back. Yep, you heard that right, folks. All the pain and sadness will go away with 10,000 comments. Keep in mind, this is the day of. They just got the news today. And this is what they're asking for. Not time off, not support while they take a break from YouTube and take care of each other. No, they want 10,000 f***ing comments. Whenever, whenever we hit 10,000 comments, that's when, that's when Carmen and Cora will start back posting vlogs, pranks, and challenges for you guys. And it's gonna be all lit content because... We, me and Carmen are in a better space. Little y'all know or not. And now that I'm not pregnant, now I can. She can do a lot, do of, a stuff, lot of stuff. So. Wow, this video has gone from abnormal to f disgusting in about 30 seconds flat. I'm honestly beginning to question the legitimacy of this entire situation. Saying that you're in a better space on the day that you found out you had a miscarriage? Yeah, that's normal. It's gonna be... So be lit, man. You know, we we uh, we in a way better space. Oh, so not only in a better space, a way better space. Even though the thumbnail is a clickbait picture of a couple in distress, they close off the video by saying they're in a much better space now and they can't wait to get back. Got it. Well, that's all I really care to show of the actual video. If you want to go watch the actual thing, you can, but just be prepared to watch more ads than actual content. I can promise you that you will not get anything more from going to watch their video than you did from watching mine. I have a feeling the other family YouTube channels will have a hard time topping this one. I can't imagine that it can get much worse than this, but uh, knowing that community, I will probably end up eating my words. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. But for now... That's all I have for you today. Bye. Wow. What a mess. I do not even have words to describe that video. Just like words cannot describe how delicious August the Duck's content is, so make sure you subscribe, so you never miss any of it. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.